You're listening to the Sensuality Project Podcast, where the messiness of real life gets sexy, hosted by Stacey Herrera. This podcast is intended for mature audiences only. Episodes contain profane language and topics of a sexual nature that may not be suitable for children. Listener discretion is strongly advised. Welcome to 2019. Do you feel different? Probably not. I don't really feel different yet either. It's interesting how uh, I think that our perception is different. So the, there is something palpable about about the new year that we don't necessarily feel when we're deep in the year, right? So there is something palpable about the shift of the new year, but I think it's more perception than it is anything actually changing because nothing is nothing is really different yet, right? I think that it's interesting, you know, I was the internet was was rife with a whole bunch of stuff about how hard 2018 was and I I didn't have an easy year either, but it's interesting how, you know, collectively we we feel like the the year is brutal. I think that a lot of times it feels like that every year, you know, I think that every year in hindsight, there's usually some, you know, heavy heftiness that we had to kind of lift over the course of the year, which can be challenging. But 2018 was definitely, um, definitely wrung me out. But I think a lot of people feel like that. But 2019 feels kind of, uh, look, we're two days in and we're already like having opinions about it. It feels different, but I think that I feel like that every year. One of the things I want to make sure that I do more of in the coming year is to to be more analog. And by analog, I mean I want to have more in-person connections in this year. I want to, to meet new people. I want to like make some real solid friendships with people that are local to me so that we can do local things. I also want to read more fiction this year. I that was something that I wanted to do last year and I did accomplish that. I definitely read more fiction in 2018 than I did in 2017, but I want to to make even to read even more fiction in this year and memoirs. I want to I want to read more memoirs. I just love hearing about people's lives and especially in their own voice. So if there there are some memoirs that I'm looking forward to actually listening to because the authors recorded them in their own in their own voice so i'm looking forward to that and of course i'm looking forward to to doing this podcast this is actually one of my favorite things i'm very surprised at how how enriching and fulfilling this experience is i just really love being in conversation i think that that's where our genius is sourced when we're in dialogue with other people, because there's just things that come out of your mouth or pop into your head that just don't that just don't come up when you're, you know, living in the space between your own ears. I mean, sometimes, you know, you go on these riffs and it might be the first time you ever said that. And it's just because you're in dialogue. And when there's an exchange of energy, I think that that's when we shine the brightest. So connection, I think, is the point. You know, I think connection is the point of this whole human thing. And while our goals and aspirations are important, it's it, of course it's good to strive, it's it's good to desire, it's good to work towards something. But I really genuinely believe that the reason that we're actually here is to just connect because I think that that's the only way that we really get to see ourselves. So this podcast does that, and I want to thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for thank you for listening in and and listening consistently cuz consistency is a thing right so for listening consistently i appreciate that so much if if there's anybody that you know that might benefit from the conversations that you hear on the sensuality project podcast definitely forward um uh, an episode to them or share a link um it is appreciated I have some great conversations in store for this year, and there are some people that I am um, fingers crossed that I'm hoping to have conversations with this year that I'd love to, I'd love to extend an invitation for you to air hustle on those conversations. So my intention is for this to be a really, really juicy experience. Um, There's no guest this week. There's no guest this week because it's the new year. And so I just wanted to, I wanted to connect solo with you. And I also wanted to, I'm not sure if I've ever done a great job of of talking about myself and um, what I actually do. So I am 
you know, I, labels are are challenging for me, but I am an intimacy, sensuality, relationship coach. All of those things. I I work with um I work with clients to help them to live bigger, bolder, brighter, more delicious, juicy lives. And that often looks like helping them to navigate the space of relationship challenges, helping them to get really deeply intimate with their own bodies, like living in the space of every cell. It's such a juicy life when you actually are embodied. And so many of us, and I used to be that person, we just we have bodies but we don't necessarily live in them but there's so much to be experienced and when you source from the well of with withinness and that's pretty much what my work is like you know what we we in in my work we just work with whatever comes up and a lot of times that is um sexuality sexuality is often but not always a big part of the work that i do you know Life is is constantly happening. So the things that we actually explore are often whatever shows up, whatever's rising to the top. And there are oftentimes things that rise to the top as a result of of the work. So it's um it's deeply fulfilling work. The the women and I, I do work with men, but I, I don't have as many um male connections or people that identify as male connections. But the the people that I work with often experience really deep shifts in their lives, things that that turn up the volume on pleasure and turn up the volume on intimacy and turn up the volume on the kinds of connections and relationships they have. So it's it's juicy. It's juicy. It's um working with me makes food taste better. I know that that sounds strange, but it's true. Working with me makes food taste better. Little things that that might seem mundane all of a sudden become extraordinary as a result of working with me. That's what sensuality is. It's it's about living life through the lens of the tools that came with your body. So colors are brighter, smells are richer, flavors are more robust. <laughs> <laughs> Flavors are more robust. Um, sensation is is more vast and deep and pleasurable. It's amazing work. It's amazing work. It's an amazing way to live because it's it's really about a lifestyle. It's really about cultivating a lifestyle of embodiment. If I could sum it up in 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 a sentence, I would say that that's what that's what working with me looks like. So if you're curious, I'd love to um, I'd love to invite you to have a consultation with me. And you can actually book a consult on my website, um, stacyherrera.com. If you go to the work with me page, there will be a button where you can click to to have a consult. A consultation is absolutely free. So there, and it's no obligation. So it's just, you know, me and you having a conversation about what's going on in your life and and seeing if if working with me would be a great fit for you. So I invite you to do that. And let's see, what else did I want to talk about today? Um, you know, it's not as easy to um, it's not as easy to talk when there's no one talking back. <laughs> That's the reason that dialogue is important. Um, but mostly, mostly, um, I want to I want to wish you a really expansive year. And I just sent out a newsletter this morning, and I would love to 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 wish the things to you that I wish to the people that subscribe to my newsletter. I hope you're on the list. I say really great shit in my newsletter. But anyways, I hope that this is the year that you commit to being consistent as fuck. I hope that this is the year that you dust off your dreams and go after those bitches. I hope that this is the year that you prioritize your pleasure I hope that this is the year that you breathe deeper, stretch farther, and put your truth where your mouth is. But more than anything, I hope that this is the year that you live in the room because that's where all the good shit is happening. I hope that you can just stay really present even when it gets uncomfortable so that you can experience life in real time, in all dimensions, and know that even the discomfort, even the stuff that doesn't feel great is temporary, so it'll pass. But when you are in the room for those things, 
that means you also get to be in the room for all the juicy, delicious, expansive, orgasmic things. And of that, there are lots. So that is my wish for you. And I will be back week after next. So I guess that would be January 16th with with a new episode, with a new guest. I'm talking about real shit and you get to ear hustle on all the juicy conversations. Thank you so, so much for being here and for for choosing, for choosing to for choosing to honor real connection, to choosing to to be interested and curious about intimacy and also to be in commitment to being consistent because I know you're going to do that this year, right? Of course you are. Of course you are because I am. We all are. Consistency is king this year and I think that uh, I think we're going to do the damn thing. So I will talk to you in two weeks. The Sensuality Project is produced, edited, and hosted by me. Music by bensound.com. The Sensuality Project podcast is a production of stacyherrera.com. Mm-hmm.